Hello, welcome to I Love Stocks, and I'm going to chart up Apple for you today. It's been a pretty good run here lately, and we're going to go ahead and look at it. I've got my SMA chart. This is Apple, SMA 50 and the 200. People that know how I trade, I like these moving averages on scalping and just looking for supports and resistance levels. I like to try to keep it simple, fresh, and clean. So we're going to pull up the year's chart on Apple and just show you what kind of run we've had on this baby. And she broke past the 50, the 50-day moving average. So this is a big deal. I have a pivot point on the stock right here, right around this, oh, right in here at 128.41. It could be a lot lower, but we're way past that. We come close to hitting this 200 a few times, but we did break the 50 here yesterday, and then we had another breakout today. So can this thing go higher? Heck yeah, it can. I think we need to break a resistance level of right around 131.21 tomorrow. I'm going to expand this on out. Okay, what have I done here? Just take a second here. Bam. We'll turn this on. Bring this down. We'll leave it at 2 right now. So we've got... The resistance level we need to break is going to be at 131.21. And then we can take it up higher to the gap level, which would be this candle right in here. And that would be right around 133. Dang, I forgot to put that on default. Here we go again. Hit the default. At least you got to know how to do that. So there's three resistance levels. And then up here right around the, the 135. I'm going to draw one more just right up in here. I'll just take it up to this next candle. Then support levels. So we did break the real real strong resistance, and that's this 50 SMA. And that's talk of the town. So we're going up to new highs. And then we got next next levels we got to break on this stock are going to be that 131 come tomorrow, 133, 135, 38, and that 137, 46. And then we could maybe take it up to this area right up in here if she decides to go ahead. Now, I don't know how it's going to hold. So I'm always, I got out of it right into close, thinking maybe we could pull back a little bit and then get back in it tomorrow and swing it over the weekend. But I want to see what the price action is on Friday, if it does have kind of a little pullback. But we did break a very important resistance level, and that's the 50 SMA. So support level is going to be that first one right here at 128. But I want to kind of define that a little bit better on a one day. And just see what kind of run we had up in here. I'm trying to look for an equilibrium in this. And you see this high right here. And you see this low. So I'm going to draw a trend line right there for your first support. That's going to be your first one. Actually, we could probably pull this back to right in here. And we could call that to first, but I think if we do, if we do hit that, I think we can drop to this 129, this 130 area. 130 is very important. That's where I got out of the trade first time today when we hit that 130. Then she pulled back, hit that 200. And it was a perfect opportunity to get back in the trade. I did, and then I wound it up and closed after hours. So if this thing pulls back, strong support right there at 130, and then maybe get her on down. And I got this 130 off a guy in the room called uh, Time uh, Time Direct. He got a message this morning. He knew I was in it and wanted to give me a little hand. Said about that 130 is a perfect spot, maybe for a resistance level, and bam, boy, it hit it just perfect. I got out of the trade. And then we got three support levels, and then that fourth one down here at the bottom. That's going to be right in here at this 129 area. So I'm going to chalk that in as a red line. That's going to be very important for me to hold this stock or to get back in the trade. And I always will play it off this 200 too. You see how it bounces off the 200? One, two, three, four, five, six, six times in a 24 hour period. So we've got that low support at 130. The second one here is going to be at one, I mean, excuse me, yeah take that back we got strong buy down here at 129 then I've got the 129.64 for your third support 
your second one 130 and then that very first one to hold at 136.36 with the resistance levels we'll go back to the year here is that going to be that 131.21 133 135 38 and you can stop these at any time and write these numbers down but I'm bullish on Apple can it hold the run I do believe we got another week in this or maybe at least we'll find out tomorrow if I want to go ahead and trade this again if we have a pullback I might just do it because the momentum of the talk is behind this stock right now so that's Apple hope everybody has a great day today and always remember, I love stocks. We do have a little icon if you're not a member to the room here at Twitter. You can post, Vegas is posting alerts in here on a daily basis. We're trying to get to 10,000. I haven't looked at this, almost there. 9,642. So I wanted to get to 10, and I think we're getting right about there. Hit that follow button and get some of them alerts. Also, on our website, we do have the little stock twits links, and you can hit them too. So always remember, this is Apple. Yeah, I've always liked Apple. I've been bullish on Apple, and I think Apple's been a lagger in the COVID period, and I think it's it's time to break out right now. Let's see if we can get this up to them higher resistance levels. Keep it on top of your watch list. And everybody have a great day. Always remember, I love stocks.